Hi, I'm Ron Polk, and this is the SketchUp Golden Rule. This is the one thing you should know from the very beginning when using SketchUp, or if you've been at it a long time and you have some difficulties, I think you're going to find that this one is very important. If there's anything else in SketchUp you need to start with, it's this one, and it has to do with drawing everything on layer zero. Now, I've sort of known this and have uh, made mistakes over time and it's hard to explain all the problems you have but they are many if you don't draw everything on layer zero and keep all of your lines and all of your surfaces on layer zero forever meaning you never move them i keep up with uh, sketchup news and there's a sketchup blog and i'll put a link to this in the video down below but this um, bonnie uh, rusk has excuse the name there hopefully I didn't say that wrong wrote this article that I read and the very first two lines the fundamentals of layer zero create all loose geometry which means what you draw the you know all the shapes the lines and the surfaces that make them up on layer zero never anywhere else and never move them only move groups and components to different layers so if i go into sketchup here and i use a second screen to keep my tools on but i'll bring them over here just for sake of seeing this so in this model i have a lot of parts and pieces and if i click on them uh, you can see that this whole group which is all of these other groups all nested and I'm not getting into that I'm just focusing on the fact that you see this is on the layer called complete bench and if I grab my layers here open them up and maybe close these others just to simplify the screen okay so you can see that I have a bunch of different layers and this helps with how I lay out my model and doing uh, the different scenes. I can turn off and on things uh, along with um, using the outliner. But you can see I've got this highlight I've got on complete bench. If I go down to complete bench here and I click that off, everything goes away because I have every all of the different um, components of this entire bench I've put on complete bench and it has to do with how I want to uh, display things so what does it mean then I just said that you know you want to always draw on layer zero and never move what you draw and that's the case here so if I go into this complete bench and I go into it further and I go into now I'm into the top and I can, I've got that on a layer. And if I go in even further and now I get to the very top, the top part, and that's uh, on a different layer. But if once I get into here and I'm on this and I click on any of the surfaces, layer zero, any of the lines, layer zero, anything I click on, once I get into the very basics, what you draw, you never draw a component you never draw a group you always draw the geometry this that's just connected lines and surfaces and that is always on layer zero so keep that in mind as you go forward and learn to use sketchup in more complex ways draw on layer zero always have it the radial button clicked and draw on layer zero if you get in here and you're doing something and you've got that radial button clicked on now that's the active layer and if I draw anything now it's going to be drawn on this layer and then I will have problems later so be careful draw layer zero the golden rule and again I'll link to that SketchUp blog down below and uh, this is actually um, where that article was but I found it because I subscribed to the SketchUp blog and they uh, linked me to it great article um, appreciate Bonnie taking the time to clarify that as a reminder the video I put up yesterday I have a tool deal for my subscribers over at Big Sky Tool uh, it's Ron Polk 30 I'll put a link down below in the video to Big Sky um, it's good for only 30 days so jump over there and take advantage it's a big discount if you like these videos give me a thumbs up 
subscribe to the channel. Most important, share them with others. Thanks for taking the time to watch. Have a great day.